Hey fellow hikers, this is your weekly TLC Hiking Club vid clip for the week of December the 26th and I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas with your significant others, loved ones, spouses, children, family, etc, etc. And I hope that you are enjoying the uh, extended weekend. A little bit of time away and some R&R. &R. Anyhow, moving right into this coming hike. Uh, for this Saturday, New Year's Eve, uh, for the Pyro the Hyro Adventure. Uh, so jumping right into that and uh, and just getting out some more details and some more warnings. Uh, I plan on giving myself five and a half to six hours to do this hike all the way to the summit. I do plan on reaching the summit, uh, God willing, uh, on that day. Uh, so uh, those that tend to you know lag behind in the latter part of the group and you guys know that I do not mind that and it's one of the some of the reasons why some of you uh, participate in our group uh, that you guys know I have no issues with you smelling the roses or bringing up the rear end of the group um, uh, all I ask is to make it cognizant uh, of the daylight hours that remain left in the day in other words, what I mean that if you're going to be, bring up the rear of the group and you're going to be uh, adamant about making the summit, that this hike might take you 10 hours to do. So be cognizant of how much time is left in the day. You guys may need to take your headlamps with you. Um, you know, if you're going to be coming out at 5, 5.30, 5 6 o'clock in the evening. So um, with that said, just, you know, be cognizant of what time is left in the day. Uh, and you know how far you want to plan on trying to make it. If you just go to the petroglyphs itself, that's an easy hike. The moment you go beyond the petroglyphs, it turns quite difficult quite quickly. So if you go to the ridge line at 6.4 miles, 6.6 .6 miles round trip, and that will be a difficult, strenuous hike. If you go to the summit, it then becomes 8.4 miles round trip to make the summit, and that is, yes, very strenuous hike. Um, so what are we going to wear? I am going to be wearing gloves. I am going to be wearing pants because of the bushwhack. I think I'll wear my convertible so I can zip them off if I get too hot later on. Um, so I, I, from what I hear, definitely recommend wearing pants. Uh, or you're going to get eaten up alive on the bushwhack headed to the ridge line on this particular hike. Um, meeting at 645 for this hike instead of 7. I did move it up 15 minutes just to try to get every use out of every moment of daylight that we can for this particular hike and hopefully get you home uh, so you can still make plans for your New Year's Eve evening. Um, so we'll meet at 645. Most of you know I wait 15 minutes, 15 minutes anyhow. So we're not going to be leaving the meetup spot until 7 o'clock. Now, if somebody phones me, they're two or three minutes out from the meetup spot. We will wait for you as we always do. Uh, if nobody's phoned, uh, we are out of the meetup spot at 7 a.m. headed towards the trailhead. So uh, again, um, I welcome everybody to come on this hike. I encourage you to make it to the summit, but I also encourage you to uh, be wise, uh, be adult-like, and know your own limitations, and don't do anything stupid. Uh, if you think that uh, there's anything in question uh, that you might be gambling on daylight, you may want to turn around and, and go back to the trailhead. So um, just asking you to be responsible adults, uh, but also, I, I do know uh, some of the photography team that we have. Um, I hope they still uh, take plenty of pictures. <laughs> uh, so you guys, uh, I know you guys are avid hikers uh, that bring up that tail. Just kind of letting you know that it may take you better half of 8, 9, 10 hours um, if you uh, go all the way to the summit. So... Uh, if you're okay with that, I'm certainly okay with that. You guys know how I run the group. I have no problems with you guys at all uh, doing that. Uh, anyhow, moving onward, looking at some volunteers to come in the TLC hiking group and lead some other hikes uh, for later on in the year. Um, as most of you know already, my wife and I are expecting another child the middle of July. 
when that happens, that's when I would really need your assistance, to, you know, other hiking leaders or hiking organizers uh, to lead some hikes. Uh, I'll be on hiatus for some time. I don't know the length of that time. Only God does uh, a new baby coming into the house. So uh, I just ask that those hikers that want to lead in our groups that have the same viewpoints and interests as I do, uh, the most important part being that uh, I, I do not put limitations on the amount of people that can sign up for a hike. And, and most of you know how I feel about that. Uh, I have a lot of people in our group that are in our group specifically for that reason because I don't block anybody out. Uh, I have a lot of people in our group that because of their careers or their jobs, swing shifts, floating shifts, contract work, that they just don't know until the very last moment if they can attend a hike or not. So when you put limitations on groups, you know, you immediately discount or eliminate that crowd of people from being able to, uh, you know, to hike with you on that particular hike, to sign up for that hike. So. Uh, amongst other reasons, uh, but you know that that's they are my viewpoints. Uh, but uh, definitely, let me know. Text me, call me, email me, Facebook me uh, if you have some interest uh, to lead some hikes. Um, you know, come July and, and onward for you know who knows another maybe a year or two that uh, we could use you as a hiking organizer uh, in TLC hiking group. Anyhow, with that said, uh, enjoy the rest of the uh, Christmas holiday. Enjoy your shortened week, and I look forward to seeing you guys at the meetup spot on Saturday morning at 645. We'll see you.